Dozens of families have rallied outside the Flinders Medical Centre to save the hospital's neonatal intensive care unit. The facility faces closure by the government, which wants to merge it with a service at the Women's and Children's. A move southern suburbs residents say will be at the detriment of their community. A big issue raised by the smallest of patients in mind. Dozens of families gathering outside Flinders Medical Centre today, rallying to save its 11-cot neonatal intensive care unit, facing closure under the state government's transforming health plan. I feel a lot of betrayal, a lot of sadness. 17-year-old Emily Kirk is the smallest baby born at the hospital to date. She spent three months in intensive care. I'm here today because of them and they're just well class. Everything's just well class, so why shut down something that isn't broken? We owe Emily's life to the NICU. A feeling shared by Jenny Bennett, whose baby suffered breathing problems within seconds of birth at Flinders. Moving her anywhere but one floor up, which happened here, um, would probably reduce our chances of survival. The government says it's planning to relocate Flinders' highest level of neonatal intensive care to the Women's and Children's Hospital on the advice of medical experts, but says families are jumping the gun. We're talking about something that's going to happen not until we've relocated the Women's and Children's Hospital. Uh, that uh, time frame could be as much as 10 years away. It's a clear broken promise and the people of the South are going to hold the government responsible. Not only is the neonatal intensive care unit important for those in the southern suburbs, but regional families right across the state. We've got a simultaneous rally happening in Mount Gambier at the moment because they feel so passionate about it. There really is no reason for it to close. Samantha Bardis, Nine News.